Hey friends, welcome back to the adventure. Now we're really gonna get deep into the forest in Gabon. So this next trip actually takes us from a comfortable eco lunch out to a slightly primitive research camp. Our mission on this three week trip was to see six of the seven of Africa's crocodile species. So why not the seventh? Well, that would have added a whole nother week to the trip and just something we didn't have time for. And it would have taken the adventure level up a notch. So we're gonna save that for another time. All right, so the next part of the adventure now, we're trying to go see the cave crocodiles. These are dwarf crocodiles that have actually turned orange from the bat guano because they're living in all of these bat caves. So this adventure took us several hours in a safari jeep through the forest, a lot of hours on the boat, and many more hours in a truck that in the inside we're breathing in the fumes for the fuel for the boat ride the following day. Welcome. I knew we were going to a research camp, which in my mind is going to be primitive. like. Are we staying in tents? Are we staying on a built up platform? You know, I didn't have high expectations. When we arrived, it was a little bit more built up than I expected, which was nice. There were actual rooms lined up. There was a walkway with showers and bathrooms. So, and a really nice dining type of area. The food was delicious. Thank you, Philippe. He had a full on bar, so if you went out and saw animals, you can come back and celebrate with wine or any type of liquor that you wanted. Okay, we are at the scientific camp. We are going to look for crocodiles in the caves of Gabon. All right, so we start the adventure with Jeremy, our guide. He's learning English, I'm learning French, so we're sort of helping each other out and trying to figure it out along the way. The treks were definitely not easy. There's not a real defined path, so if you're not really up for adventure, this is not for you, but the payout, the reward, is seeing lots of cool bat species and the potential to see the orange cave crocodiles. So. That's what our fingers were crossed for. There were a couple cave systems that we were gonna try, and that's where we were going. All right, so we have about a two to three hour hike to see the cave crocodiles. Now we're gonna see the crocodile house. <laughs> wow. Look at this enormous. 
Wow. got a bird in here. going to different cave systems. We saw giant millipedes everywhere. We saw praying mantis. We saw three species of bats, but no cave crocodiles. We saw no beautiful orange cave crocodiles this trip, uh, but we were also in the rainy season, which meant that the caves were filling up. It was gonna be difficult to get in and it was gonna be difficult to see them inside from different angles of the cave. So totally bummed out that we didn't see the cave crocodiles, but here's a tour of where we stayed. Welcome to our home away from home. Here's the lovely bathroom. It's a wood, wood system. Very bougie bathroom, here you go. Got our shower here. Our hangers with our nice decorative cobwebbing on here. There we are. Yep. State of the art. Super fancy. I'm gonna go to the other side where not all the guys can see me showering. Okay. shower so this is pretty good and pretty awesome okay all right nice and clean now let me show you to our humble abode enjoying any of these adventures be sure to subscribe to my channel that way you don't miss out on a single one so now we're rested we're cleaned up fueled up we had a beautiful meal prepared by Sylvie and Philippe thank you very much it was delicious and now we're going to head out and do another hike in the nighttime just before a storm is gonna come in we are determined to see little crocodiles at this location we're looking for Osceolamus tetraspis and fingers crossed that when we venture out in the forest, we are gonna find some. We are out at night. We're gonna go look for crocodiles. Hopefully, Osteolema. Thunder in the distance. And it's kinda of quiet. The guys are looking out for the forest. I'm looking for the 
Hopefully we won't run into the dam. And we do have a crocodile catching expert with us too. So we're walking through a tiny little stream, freezing cold water. We got back into the forest and it was like within a minute or two. The guides had already found two baby Osteolamus, two baby dwarf crocodiles. It just happened so quick. And I knew that I was recording. I knew that John was recording. I even saw some video later on in the trip as I was organizing stuff, but it has poof, disappeared. Sometimes that happens. Video footage just disappears. All I have is this. How did that happen? We just got to the swamp and suddenly each of these guys had two crocodiles. I will tell you, I am so convinced that these guides had already caught these little crocodiles up, had them in a box or a duffel bag or whatever, because it was not like a minute before we took a turn, got into the forest, arrived at this little lake, and then poof, they already had them. Like there was hardly any time to be like eye shining for them. So I'm not entirely convinced that they weren't already prepared. However, that's okay. You know what? There was a storm coming in. It was raining by the time we were walking back. We got our photos. We were able to say, okay, we saw the third species of crocodile that we wanted to see. Okay. If you're a hardcore traveler, you're a research scientist getting out in the field, I will say this. Be prepared to get bit up even in bed because that's exactly what happened to me. I woke up the next morning and I was covered in bites all over my legs. So I think next time I'm gonna, even though it's hot, I'm gonna try and wear some pants. But that was the other thing. The power cuts off at 11 because you're at a research camp. You're saving power. Why do you need a fan to sleep at night? So bring a battery powered fan. You can at least get some sleep at night because that's, that was one of the hard parts of travel is when the power goes off and the air is just still and hot and humid, it is really difficult to get any sleep. You're traveling to hardcore places like this, bring a battery powered fan with you. Coming up next, <laughs> hello buddy. Coming up next, we're gonna go to the Naganda Bush Camp, which was amazing. So I can't wait to share that adventure with you next. Hi, buddy. I know, okay, you ready? 